Hello guys, it's Dr. Speckoff back here again, and today I have another sniping gameplay for you, and this time it's a big team battle variant, and today I'll be teaching you how to earn sniping sprees while playing Halo Reach. So I hope you enjoy this video. Now it is on the the map hemorrhage a very popular big team a big time battle a big team battle map so that that's why i've chosen it so maybe you can see some of it so i spawn as the red team one for the sniper first but then this guy takes it on me that that, that that's one thing is always going to be a battle for the sniper during the game so don't shoot somebody because I, I was shooting but i wasn't shooting at him so yeah so i decided to just get on this turret i'm really angry that he stole my snipe but yeah, what are you gonna do? So... Yep, so about the sniping sprees, what you wanna do is get in a very good position, as I've been saying in all my videos. And just stay there and kinda shift around, but on Hemorrhage, there's only really one good spot to get, and that's from the, the base, canyon, and the, the, the tunnel room for the blue team. And that, that tunnel also on the red. And I pick up a nice easy headshot here, that's what we're gonna do. In Hammer, it's very easy to, to, to pick off easy headshots on people running in the middle of the map. It's not really safe to do that, but I'm doing it here because I'm going to pick up the, the plasma launcher. And I'm going to teach you how to use the plasma launcher, folks. So what you want to do is you, you want to fire like one sticky for at one, one person. And I just miss it there, but I'm going to fire two at this revenant. So, that, so that's what I do. I fire two, but I'm getting cross map shot. But I still get the kill, and I kill the Revenant, which is a very good thing, because who wants a vehicle strolling around like a Revenant? So that's also a very good tip. So I hope you learned how to use the, the, the plasma launcher to, the, the, to your best abilities. But if you want to use it against single people, not using a vehicle or anything, ju just shoot one plasma um, grenade out of it. But because you don't want to waste all your bullets. So that, that that's another good tip. And... Towards the middle or uh, of the game, I pick up the sniper and I earn a sharpshooter. And I'm going to teach you guys how to get sprees and get in good positions. And now the reason why I'm trying to to their base. Because my team is currently arming the bomb. So I kind of want to help them out, which is a good tactic in any objective game type. So that's, that's just a little thing you want to know. But here you're going to see... A really bad shotgun fail by me. It's, it's so bad, so I don't want you to get it. But you know my my friend Arbiter. I bet you if you see my tool commentary videos, he is such really skilled with the shotgun. You see that? Yeah, I'm not the best shotgun person. I, I'm like okay, but like you yeah, know, but I'm a very good sniper. I, you you would think shotgun would be easier, but I feel that sniping is easier. I know. Don't get all like, oh my god, he thinks he's so good because. You think sniping is easier, but I really think sniping is easier. So, yeah. So look forward to my Halo Reach Player of the Week Volume 2 coming up later today or tomorrow, which is Sunday. And also look look forward to my Halo Reach Playlist of the Week video. This week is going to be Big Team Battle on this same map, Hemorrhage. And I'll be playing with my friend Silent Stink, who is a very skilled COD player, but I got him to play some Halo Reach with me, so I ho hope you enjoy that. And also, I have other great gameplays coming along for you, and, and I have a lot of good ones planned, and some with Arbiter in them, so you can have Arbiter back. And as you can see, I pick up Snipe Spawn here. I'm trying to evade the, the situation hiding here, but unfortunately, I get picked off. But don't worry, I get my revenge on this guy like I've always gotten revenges on people that I've killed in the, the game. So, well, let's see how it tears out. So, he's shooting another teammate, so I decide, oh, this, this is my perfect opportunity. Because when somebody's shooting somebody else or engaged in a battle, try to, to, to shoot them, because it'll be easier, because they're focusing on another player, as that was there. And I pick up an easy headshot revenge medal. So now I get my sniper back, and you're going to see some good signature Dr. Spec Up sniping skills. So, hope you enjoy. And now I'll teach you how to take down vehicles. You, you just want to shoot kind of near the driver, but not that much. And as you can see, I take down that goes pretty easily, but it's not that, that much effort. Because it's easier to take down vehicles because they have bigger targets. And I'm deciding, oh, I have good cover because there's a over here. 
and then I pick up a nice in the back headshot, which is very hard to do when somebody's is there back to you because it's hard to pick up that headshot. But I did get one body shot, but I did pick up the headshot, so I was fortunate. So now I'm just kind of going around here, and I'm in the middle because I have a breeze protecting me. So that that that's why I'm kind of getting up this close. So I'm just looking for enemy targets to really neutralize, I guess. Then I decided, you know, it's a little too risky. At nine minutes, their their vehicles will be spawning again, and as I can see, their their revenant is coming in, and I'm deciding, oh, this area is too hot. Like you, you wanna always get away from areas, as I've always said, just try to get away from it, basically. So more tips on hemorrhage. This canyon, at the end of it, is a very good sniping position if you want to snipe the blue team. But watch out for their sniper, because their sniper can see you right from his base. And if you're looking, say, into the, I into the tunnel, he can just pick you off without you even knowing what hit you. So be careful, guys. I just missed the oh great faithful jetpack snipe, but I get it. But be before I start doing commentaries, I had a really nice jetpack snipe, but unfortunately I can't show that to you because it's not in my temporary killing history spree. anymore. Then I pick up my killing spree, and now I see a battle going on, but I'm unable to pick up a kill. So there's my killing spree, and here you're, you're gonna be you're gonna see a very nice snipe that that could be a nominee for my sniping video on snipes, no scopes, quick scopes, sniping, etc. So that could be a nominee, and it's going to be a top 5 video, and, and currently I've changed my ninja videos to a top 10, because I have too much to, to show for you, which is always a good thing. So I ran out of my sniper, so I, one thing is always pick up a different weapon when you're trying to get another weapon, wow. like the sniper. So I get it back with, fu with full ammo in it. It's a very good choice for me, and I'm back to going up to that cannon, canyon because I decided that my whole team is on the other side, and there's a wraith coming along, and somebody, and, and they're trying to detonate the the, the bomb because my teammate is in the tunnel room. So I just decided I'll be kind of safe sniping on the canyon here. But unfortunately, my my wraith gets exploded. But what are you gonna do? And then. I try to take down this target, but my teammate already takes him down be before I can. Alright, so about that new video about me and Arbiter are going to do, it's going to be another team doubles, and it's going to be where, where we both get killing frenzies, which is pretty hard. We both, um, not, we, I think we both, no, it, it was killing frenzy shutout. Both of us never died in the whole entire game. So basically, since we, we both had Killing Frenzies, we couldn't get a running riot because we both had Killing Frenzies. Like, I had like 13 kills, Arbiter had like 12 kills or something, or vice versa. But, so, so we both basically, we, we, but, yeah, as you know, team doubles goes up to 25 points, so we, we couldn't have enough to get perfections. But, but I thought it was really good because we both got Frenzies and we both never died. So look forward to that gameplay posting up next week maybe Friday or th this time next week and now as you can see I was picking up multiple targets in their base which is very this is a very nice sniping spot as I've always said uh, in this video on this canyon so and then I'm trying to help out my team but this guy's evading don't waste your sniper bullets on evading people it's not really a good idea right here I kinda miss but I get it and I get my sniper headshot and now I'm trying to pick up this target. Still didn't get him. Yeah. Same with sprinting guys. Oh, and unless you're a very skilled sniper, you don't want to waste bullets on sprinting opponents because, like, five times out of ten, or le or a little less, depending upon your Halo skill level, you would you probably miss the, the snipe. So, you know, one thing good about sniping for for, for sprees, oh, what you came here for, is always cons try to conserve your your bullets the best way you can. I can see I line up a nice shot for the head, but as you can see they have this guy strafing, which is a very good <laughs> tactic against snipers and stopping sniping sprees, is to, to strafe, which is to move left to right so it's very hard for a sniper to take you down. That is a good strategy. Me personally, I'm not skilled enough to, to, to do it because you have to have 
plenty of skill, plenty of agility, plenty of um, accuracy with your DMR or whatever weapon you're using. It's probably easier to use an assault rifle, but usually strafing is usually done with a precision class weapon. And precision is anything with the scope on it, like the Magnum, DMR, needle rifle, sniper rifle. Well, rockets and Spartan laser aren't really precision. They're ordnance, which means like very explosive weapons. Pick up my sniper headshot for my killing frenzy. Now, th this game ended before I could get my be the bullet medal, so I, you never know what I what I could have done because the, this this game ended right before I got the sharpshooter. And oh, the sharpshooter's coming up pretty soon now I'm just trying to pick up a target I'm trying to see if I can walk back a little but there it is the, the sharp shooter medal well it's kind of a rare medal because it's kind of hard to get because you gotta get 10 sniper kills in a row but you have limited amount of ammo so I hope you guys enjoyed this sniping spree video please rate comment and subscribe Dr. Spec Ops out and see you later for more videos enjoy the weekend